Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to answer a very quick question that I got on stream, which is what is the difference between len, the global function in Python, and double under len, double, double, double under len, <laughs> which is a method on some classes. And so let's jump into that. Oh, that button didn't work. Cool. There we go. Okay, so let me just show you an example of what we're talking about today. Uh, so I'm going to make a custom class, which is going to define a length for whatever reason. <laughs> This is the special method that we were talking about before. And len conventionally returns an integer. Um, so you can say like, you know, this is a class which has double under len and it returns three. And there is a built-in function in Python called len, uh, which just says built-in function len, if we do help of len, it'll tell us that it returns the number of items in a container. Basically, this is supposed to be a, a method that you can pass objects into and it'll generically return the length. Now, the way that it works under the hood is it actually calls into this special double under len function uh, to compute that value. It also does some additional steps, like a little bit of type checking, and um, there's, a, I believe, some optimizations for some C classes. So for, for instance, like your common list and tuple types might have a specialization in the built-in length function to you know, avoid a function call overhead. Uh, but if we take this len function and we call it on an instance of our C class, you'll see that it returns three here. And that's, you know, it called into double under len directly. And if we call double under len like this, you'll see we also get three. Um, these are, you can, you can basically think of these as being the same evaluation. They are slightly different because of the type checking that this one does, uh, but they're, they're essentially the same. Now note, in actual code, you should almost never call double double under uh, functions directly. In Python, there are usually helper functions that do this for you. For instance, like, you know, repr is another example. Uh, if I had defined double under repr or len or bool or, I don't know, there's, there's a couple other ones. Even stir works like that as well. Uh, generally, you should not call these directly, but allow, you know, the, the, the built-in function or the specialized function to call those. Um, I do want to show you one difference, though, because it, it is possible to introduce a difference here, and that is when you make len return a type that is not the correct type. So I, I noted, I told you before that we did, it does some type checking. If we make a class D that returns, you know, hello, hello world here, which, you know, that's, that's obviously a bogus length, that shouldn't work. Um, but if we call len, you'll notice that this is just a normal method to Python, so it, it doesn't know that this should have returned an integer. Um, so it allows this call here, but it forbids it when we call it from here. You'll see we get a, a type error. The stir object cannot be interpreted as an integer. Actually, I wonder what happens. I wonder if we return a stringy integer. What does it do then? I hope it doesn't work. <laughs> return five is an integer. Uh, len e. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, it would it would have it would have irked me a little bit if this returned uh, five, but I'm glad it doesn't. But anyway, um, that's the difference between len and double, double under len. Uh, generally, there isn't one, and generally, you shouldn't call the latter one. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.